Hi, in this video we will see how do we find a constant term in a given binomial expansion. So let us consider the binomial expansion 2x plus 1 over x and whole raised to the power of 6. And we want to find the constant term in this expansion. Constant term means that there is no variable in that term. This means that the x should be raised to the power of 0 and then only that term will become a constant term. Now in my previous video I have told how do we find the r plus 1th or the general term in any binomial expansion. So it's if we have an expansion x plus y to the power of n then the r plus 1th term is given by n choose r x to the power n minus r and y to the power of r. x is the first term and y is the second term and similarly we can write the r plus 1th term in the above expansion. So it, n which is 6 here. So 6 choose r x the first term is 2x here. It will be raised to the power of 6 minus r and the second term which is 1 by x will be raised to the power of r. This one simplification gives us 6 choose r 2 to the power of 6 minus r and x to the power of 6 minus r into 1 to the power of r over x to the power of r. We have applied the laws of exponents which on further simplification gives us 6 choose r 2 to the power of 6 minus r x to the power of 6 minus r over x to the power of r. 1 raised to the power of r gives us a 1. Correct? Now further simplified. So 6 choose r 2 to the power of 6 minus r and x to the power of 6 minus r and a minus r. When the bases are same and in division the powers get subtracted the laws of exponent. So 6 choose r 2 to the power of 6 minus r into x to the power of 6 minus 2r. This is our r plus 1th term. And how do we want this term to be? We want this term to be a constant term. And in the constant term, the power of x should be 0. So in our case, the power of x is 6 minus 2r. So you equate 6 minus 2r to 0 and on simplification you get r as 3. If r is 3, then r term is r plus 1th term which is basically t4, which is the fourth term. So the fourth term in the above expansion will be a constant term and then the fourth term will be given as 6 choose 3, r is 3, 2 to the power of 6 minus 3 and definitely x to the power of 0 because that's how we got r as 3. So this gives us 6 choose 3, 2 to the power of 3. We can simplify and get the value of 6 choose 3 multiplied by the cube of 2 to get the constant term in the expansion of 2x plus 1 by x whole to the power of 6. So I hope this example is clear to everyone. We will do more such examples in our coming videos. If you have any doubts regarding this, you can send me an email at kt.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel, Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.